We are back for another episode of Knowing Me Knowing Blues and on the sofa today is Freddie Potts. Freddie, welcome to the sofa. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm not bad. I am kind of kicking myself because I kept saying I wanted the cold weather mm. and now it's cold, I don't want it. I want the sun back. <laughs> yeah, no, um, training was pretty, pretty horrible today in the rain. Yeah, I bet. It was pretty horrible. I bet. We've got some interesting questions for you today from the fans. Should we jump into it? You yeah, ready? let's go. Yeah, I'm excited. Okay, question number one from Gab. This is quite a good one, actually. If you had to belt out a Freddie Mercury song or Paul Potts song, which would you go for? A Freddie Mercury song or a, a Paul Potts song? Paul Potts. Well, I only know Freddie Mercury. You don't know and, who Paul um, Potts is. Is he the one, the, uh, the opera one of X Factor, right? Yes, he is. Yeah, he okay. is an icon. I'd go with Freddie Mercury. Yeah, which one, which song? We Are The Champions. Very nice. Because hopefully we'll be singing that at the end of the season. Strong answer, love that. <laughs> um, Kyle said, <laughs> would you rather have a 10 inch long belly button that swayed to music or accordions for legs? Or, or, the, or accordions? You don't know what accordions? No, what uh, no. You know the like, you push them in and out, there's like a little mini piano on the side. I'll probably go for the belly button one. <laughs> belly button, I mean accordions for legs, that's not gonna be fun. No, it's You're not. You're not gonna get very far. No, well, I'll probably have to go the belly button. 10 inch long one. belly button. <laughs> Kyle, what made you think of that? It's a weird question, that. You, I guess you could tuck that away, though, couldn't you? You could, but, yeah, it's a strange <laughs> question. <laughs> um, okay, moving on. Michael said, if you had to sneak a Wickham player into West Ham to put on the mascot suit on match day, who do you think would be best at it? Um, what is the mascot. mascot at West Ham? It's the, um, got Hammerhead. Yeah. So just the massive hammer just walks around. Is there a teddy bear? Uh, and no, I don't think so. Oh. But no, you have Hammerhead, and then there's another one, um, an iron. See, I've used his name for quite a few questions like this, and I'll probably still go with Jasper. Jasper Purely because he just does not care <laughs> what anyone thinks of him, that he'll probably just put on the best job. Yeah, I think Jasper will do well as a hammerhead because he will just, okay. he just will not care. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you could bring a previous teammate to Wickham, who would it be and why? A previous teammate to Wickham? Yeah. From West Ham. Yep. In the th probably in the first team. I mean, yeah, Lucas Paquette would be the dream because he's an unbelievable player every time that I trained with him. Um, the stuff he does would be really really entertaining for the fans I think mm -hmm. and yeah like I say he's probably the best player that I've, that I've probably trained with so I'll probably bring him to there the ball. Um, Owen said is curtains the best hairstyle? <laughs> um, yes disclaimer he said he does have curtains as well. Yeah I mean yeah I, I used to go through a spell where I had long curtains but then I've gone for more of like a, a quarter parting. Yeah, there's no the curtains today, so that question doesn't really apply. I've probably apply. gone for the quarter parting, so I'll probably say at the moment a quarter parting is better. Okay, there we go. Um, who in the team helped you most adapt when you arrived? There was a few actually. There was um, obviously Brex helped me out because he's my age. He's it's his first loan. He as soon as I walked in, I just sort of gravitated. Um, went to him mm -hmm. uh, of all people and then Keezy's helped me out a few of the older lads G-Mac still takes care of me um, I'm close to G-Mac um, but yeah really in the first week I just noticed everyone sort of takes you in this it helps you settle in really there easy. were quite a lot of new faces this season as well weren't they do you reckon that helps I think so but then there's more experienced players that have you know like seen players young players come into a new club for the first time mm -hmm. and they do help you out like some of the older lads here have been top for me that's lovely. Uh, nothing but tea said. What is the f the weirdest or the funniest rumor that you've heard about yourself? <laughs> yeah, honestly, I don't have a clue about this one because I ain't had many rumors about me at all, <laughs> so I can't actually answer it. But I'd you love to. Have you ever heard anything about yourself? Well, I can't. Not that I can remember. No. No. no not yet. Not yet. One day. <laughs> uh, Josh said, "What is your favorite subject at school apart from PE?" Um, I took economics for A level. Okay. Yeah, that's something that people don't know. I got yeah. a, I got an A level in economics. I used nice. to like the money side of things. I used to, I used to like. So yeah, I'll probably say economics. Yeah, I don't know Very why. Good. I just sort of just gravitated towards it. Uh, would you rather fight a bear-sized duck or ten duck-sized bears? Is this the one that comes this up? This is every the one week? that comes up every week from um, Dan. Ten duck-sized bears. 
why are you going for the dark side because I don't know I just feel like you can just once you're hitting one you can just kick one with your feet as well. there's a lot of kicking going on oh, obviously you... you're footballers so it makes sense but everyone says they'll kick the bears they're going to be on the, the floor aren't they so yeah I guess so <laughs> um, Dan has got another question and this is also question of the week if the love of your life had the surname Pans when you marry would you double barrel your surname and be Freddie Potts Pans <laughs> um, um, so it'll be good on the back of my shirt it'll look pretty cool Freddie but... Potts and Pans <laughs> I'm not changing my name I like it I like Potts Freddie Potts yeah. stick into all Potts. the boys call me Potts or Potsy no one ever calls me Freddie either so no double barrel then I don't really like Potts Pans now <laughs> 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 um, there have been lots of questions about your dad and your brother so I'm just going to fire some of them at you now um, did you always want to follow in your dad and brother's footsteps well I think yeah because I've always wanted to be a footballer mm -hmm. I've been playing since pretty much pretty much born I've been always playing football what you know. but um, I wouldn't want to be in their position because obviously they were defenders but the fact that they've played football has helped me quite a lot, so probably, yeah, I probably want to follow in their footsteps. Who's better at football? Out of who? The whole family. The whole family. I think myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to say myself, yeah. Hopefully your dad and brother don't watch this video. <laughs> um, what are some of the ways that you have benefited from your family also being professionals? Um, they've helped me to keep grounded, I think. They've been through, like, my, especially my brother, he's been, he's been through the leagues. He's been playing in League One with Luton and then the times that I've played well, he's kept me grounded, but then the times I've, I've played um, not so well, he's, he's helped me out and gave me advice. So it's helped me out quite a lot in terms of yeah. helping my performances get better throughout the season. Cool. Uh, what was it like winning the Conference League with West Ham? Yeah, um, probably the best week of my life, probably my footballing career, probably. That was just a special night to be around it. I didn't have a, I didn't know that I was going to be on the bench. I yeah. travelled I traveled out there, me and another lad called Devine, who was a youngster with me. We travelled out there and then we were sitting in the changing room watching everyone get changed, everyone prepare. And it took about till 20 minutes before we went to warm up. One of the lads, Emerson, who plays for West Ham, he's gone, boys, what are you doing? Like, you're on the bench, get changed. So me and Devine had no idea and then we just looked at no each way. other. No way. And then we just could not believe it when we were on the bench. And then obviously the way we won it in the last minute with, with Bowen scoring and all the fans, my, my uncle was there, was, yeah, probably the best night of my footballing career. I bet. What stands out the most about it, is there like one specific memory? The, the, when the final whistle went, that was, that was how special with all the fans because there were so many fans out there. Yeah. And obviously on the way back on the coach, the amount of fans in the city was incredible. It was the best night. Yeah. I bet, but that was wicked. Um, next question. We had a similar question to this a couple of weeks ago. Yours is slightly different though. What financial compensation would it take for you to eat three scoops of soy sauce flavoured ice cream? <laughs> what was the other flavour we had? It was like mustard or mustard. mayo or something. Uh, mayo mustard. Mayo mustard ice cream. So how much would it take for me to Yeah, to how much that? would it take for you to eat three scoops of soy sauce flavoured ice cream? Well, I don't, I don't mind soy sauce. I, I, yeah, I, I like soy like put an, in ice I like cream. Asian. Well, yeah, that's the, that's the downside of it really, isn't it? I have tried actually olive oil and sea salt ice cream because <laughs> everybody said it was like this trend that apparently it's really nice. It's not, it's, it's not. horrific, it's grim. Um, no, probably, yeah, still, I'll probably do it for not, not too much money, actually. I'd, I'd, I always I say I'd just it. go for it, I'll just try it. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not say yes it, in yeah. this life. Yeah. So nothing, you don't need any well, compensation? No, no, not nothing, I think like, it's going to take a little bit. But <laughs> 10,000 10, a scoop. No, no, I'm, no, way less than that. Like, I'll, 10 quid a Give scoop. me a tenner and I'll, you know, I'll be happy with trying it. Yeah. There we go, <laughs> 10 pounds for some soy sauce flavoured ice cream. Um, Milo said, what player have you always wanted to play with the most? Is it would be Declan Rice because I've never actually got to be on the pitch with him at really? the same time. The amount of times I've trained with him, mm -hmm. I've never actually got the experience to share the pitch with him. Mm. Um, seeing him in training, you can tell how good he actually is firsthand. But then you wanted to be on the pitch with him, and unfortunately, well, fortunately for him because he's having doing unbelievable at Arsenal. Um, it would have been special to have to have shared the pitch before he before he left. So yeah. probably probably Dick. Maybe one day yeah. we'll manifest it. I mean, yeah, hopefully. Is he as funny as he seems? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what has been the best moment in your career so far? 
Um, well, apart from the the European final, mm -hmm. the goal against Charlton was pretty special yes. for me. Obviously, my first my first professional goal, mm -hmm. and in front of the way it was, in front of the away fans, um, my mates were in the crowd. My family was up in the Charlton stand somewhere. It was something that I'll remember for for a long, long time. Love so I'll probably that. have to go with that. And who is your best mate in the squad? <laughs> I'm close with a few of them. Mm. Um, I've got. I think I'm close with Sads, Jasper, the few of the younger boys, Luca. Uh, but everyone, honestly, everyone gets on. This is it's weird. I've, not many clubs are, are like this at all. Um, Love it. Everyone, everyone's really positive, and the amount of people that say it's like a, a family, family feel. Everybody says it. I can understand why. Because yep, it really is lying. like that. Yeah. So there we go. I, I haven't really got one that would stand out. You just love them all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, Freddie, thank you so much for joining me on the sofa. No, You're thank done. You. Free to thank go. You. Thanks. <laughs> thank you for watching Know Me Known Blues and sending in your questions. Keep your eyes peeled for the player that is next on the sofa.